Now that we've built up a little bit of confidence in, in how the material works, we're ready to try the hood star. Now, the hood stars I think you'll find in, in the uh, literature, manuals, a lot of these publications originally were supposed to be way back here against the windshield. And I believe the main reason that was was so when the windshield's folded down, you can still see a good part of the star. But the thing is, that puts it right on top of your hood hinge and makes it a little bit of a difficulty in, in getting a nice neat job. Now, we tend to over restore things today in, in World War II with a cardboard stencil and a one quart spray gun. They had all kind of mist, all kind of overspray. You know, they really weren't that concerned about it. But uh, today, we want to try to do a very neat job, so we want to put this hood star on starting right with the hinge so that we don't go over top the hinge and we'll try to center it on the, on the uh, seam in the hood and we'll try to put it in there like that. So to do that, I'm probably going to need a little help positioning it and Colleen is here for that. Let's start off by peeling the back off of here. See the point of the star and the seam in the middle of the hood? See that? Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to tack mine down. You can pull yours a little bit snug. And just lightly. Whoops. Yeah. Right there. How's that look? Yep. Tack. Okay. Mine down there. Now we'll look at the point of the star here. You need to pull your corner a little way that way. See how you're off. Got the point of the star here and the point of the star here as centered on the seam as I can get it. We've lucked out fairly well. In this case, this vehicle has the the uh, lubrication chart holder on the inside of the hood, which gives us four screws. And lucked out that this screw is is going to be in the star and this screw is going to be in the circle. These two are off the stencil altogether, so you won't have any bubble underneath the stencil when we go to smooth it out. Okay, ready? Pass that screw, then give us a bubble in the top transfer. Watch right there, that, that lift up. Okay, get a clean rag and just lightly go over there so we make dust. Okay, now we're ready to we get this all taped off and we're we're checked our edges and take a deep breath and time to do the big star. Again, we're going to do a light mist. We're going to start getting down in the seam of the hood. You don't have to get quite as worried about it running on the hood because it's the only flat surface you're going to do. Everything else you're going to paint is vertical. Okay, 
Now we've got those two screws to worry about. Now I'll go around and start from the other side. This way I can get that hood seam from both sides. And we can get both sides of the screws. Look it over a little. What do you think, Colleen? Looks good. Okay. Just take a second to look at it from a couple different angles. Looks pretty good. All looks solid weight. Seem to be down in the seam as good as we're going to get. All right, so we'll try to take this paper off in reverse order. Fingers got wet paint on. Ready? Get this corner. Watch your son or your star though, you're behind me on there, see? Come up about even where I'm at. Okay, now corner. Now I gotta put this together up here. Take this corner and in. All the way up, off the front of the hood. And there it is, the big one. <laughs>